Well, right now we have a bishop of the Roman Catholic Church who denies the Holocaust. And uh, in fact, he and three others were tossed out on their ear by the previous pope. What was his name? Was that Pius or who? Uh, whatever his name John was. Paul. John, John Paul. Paul. Thank you. Oh, we had a member of the Catholic Church sitting out here in the audience that corrected us. <laughs> but now that the Nazi pope has taken over, Ratzinger, He's reinstated these people, and I thought this was just beautiful. You can't get over this. Holocaust denier Bishop Richard Williamson captures, had a video which captures his belief that only 200,000 to 300,000 European Jews died in the Holocaust. Hey, it wasn't six million, it was only a quarter of a million. I mean, how can you use that as some justice for denying that anything happened? I mean, the guy can't tell this whole... Why don't you just say none of them, Bishop? Why don't you, I mean, as long as you're lying, why don't you just tell the whole lie? Why just 200 to 300,000? That's a pretty good-sized bunch of people, I would say. He denied also that they were killed in gas chambers. Okay, in gas chambers, so they shot 200,000, so they, <laughs> they starved 300,000. We don't know what it is, but it's, it's, really, it's really scary that the churches are backing up things like this. Oh, there's that name, Fred Luchner. Oh, yeah, yeah I know him. There's a movie about him. They're called Dr. Dan. He's the, oh, the deniers, he's their hero. He's, uh, his job is... Uh, to build and service electric chairs in prisons. The yeah, and go people. around and inspect them. Inspect them, and he went over to Auschwitz, and he and he he dug into the gas chamber walls, and he says there's no evidence of cyanide. Okay, well the gas chambers were of course cleared out, but they, there's all another thing. The gas chambers in Auschwitz were destroyed after. Yeah, the they war, were rebuilt. And they, yeah, and they were rebuilt, and then they say, ah, oh, this gives them it's like creationists. You know, you re, you phonied up the evidence. The thing about that was, you know, you shouldn't laugh because it's it's so pathetic because the Germans kept fantastic records. That's of the whole story, isn't it? I mean, records. They're they kept records. records. In fact, even the the churches. Uh, when there wasn't birth records, like back in the 1890s, uh, the churches cooperated with the Nazis by providing uh, church records of births so where they could sort out the Jews and the non-Jews. But as we said, there's a history of this.